All right. So another video. Before I get started on this one, I want to say I shouldn't be making this video. This video, I believe, uh, would be a great topic for Gerald, for Core Gaming. So, Gerald, if you're watching this, please make a video on it. Because I feel like this is a, a topic that's really worth discussing, and I can't do it justice. So I'm just going to ramble. I'm just going to bring the point up, and then maybe one day we can have an actual intelligent dude talk about it. What started this discussion? So this video has been going viral on Twitter, and people are... First, let's, let's just watch it. Ready? I'm going to turn the music off. So this video, you might have seen it before, uh, but this guy right here, this is... He's very angry at Fall Guys. So let's let's listen up. Why is he so angry at Fall Guys? Okay, All right, away. guys, watch this. This is the reason why I stopped playing video games right here. Okay. People, like, this game is this game has been out for, like, what, a week? Just one week. And people are this try-hard at a party game. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, why are you doing this to everybody else? People don't learn how to go pro in a game in one week. But yet, mm -hmm. you guys are out here, like... Winning every single like it just it just doesn't make sense, man. You lose the fun in the game once you turn everything so so competitive. Like sometimes people just want to hop on, have a good time with their friends, play around. He's but right. next thing they know, Stop they see him. sweats like this guy, right? Sweats, I like, like that term. Winning every yeah. single game he plays, and then the game just becomes unfun after like five days. That's why no one plays Fortnite anymore. People are starting to lose fun is. in uh, Warzone. Like it's just. It's all right, so of course, while he's talking, as expected, as expected, the whole chat is going crazy, right? The whole chat is going crazy at him, like, scrub, scrub, you suck, you suck, you scrub, you scrub. And on Twitter, too, you know, the video went viral. Twitter and everything is the same way, you know, because everyone takes so much pride in themselves being like a god gamer. We're like, he sucks, he's a casual. So obviously, that's expected. But to me, you know, I, I thought he had really good points. For just being a total scrub, like a total casual, right? It's a very, he's got a different mindset. But what made me very kind of sad and nervous, he said Fortnite is dying, right? He said Warzone is dying. These are games that are uh, roughly, I would say, about 10,000 times bigger than the biggest fighting game. The, the game, the genre itself, is very punishing, right? I think I think that is what you can, you can definitely agree with, is that fighting games are probably the least friendly to pick up and play and the devs have been trying to you know simplify the game right they're trying to simplify the games they're trying to dumb it down so now you have the old players getting angry and it's just it's just a disaster but this dude right here this casual player is furious at fall guys at fall guys have you played that game there's two buttons he's angry at fall guys for people trying too hard right so if he's just a totally normal casual guy trying to pick up a fighting game like, like, this is over, right? This I feel like fighting games are just... I love them. Believe me, I'll be playing them my whole life. But, you know, for the current generation, it's it's an outdated, outdated, outdated play style. So, I don't want to go into each individual problem, but, like, how can you fix it? So, the first thing, as the guy said, right, he just wants to go on and have a good time and play. And I think this is where uh, things come into. So, the obvious way is netcode, right? So, netcode, I don't think we've discussed this. Say has been on a crusade, I think... Everyone in the FTC now agrees with netcode, 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 right? If you have good netcode, that means you have uh, more people available to play. And then hopefully that means you don't have to fight the tryhards, right? You can find more people that are close to your range and you can have a good match. But that's not enough. So I want to get to the point of this video. It's not really a point. This is why I need, I need Gerald to come in with the assist, but... Uh, a few weeks ago, we did this round, this round table, and the to me the most interesting. You know, everyone is talking. Everyone wanted like new characters, and everybody wanted uh, rollback discussion and everything. The most interesting part to me in this whole discussion was said by the SNK team. It's something I never thought about ever. I never once thought about it, and then when they mentioned it, I was like, "Holy crap!" But yeah, it's AI developing AI, right? This is SNK. They, they said they did it before, right? They they tried it before. So uh, AI, of course, artificial intelligence, they're, they're talking about fighting the computer. They're talking about fighting the computer. So not only fighting the computer, but also uh, like a better ranking system as well to make sure that you can get matches that are close to your level. So they said we want 
they're working on developing, this is still gonna be a long time, but they think it's the future, of having bots or AI competitors in fighting games that are so kind of realistic that you can't tell that they're AI. At the highest level, maybe, you know, maybe the pros, well, I, I feel like it'll never be a point where you won't be able to tell AI. The pros, good players will always be able to get it, but, you know, this guy, the guy who's crying over, over Jump King from the guy jumping on him, if, if you can sneak in an AI, you know, you don't have, you don't have the little bot icon or anything, it just, you go online, you, you put in the player match, and this AI comes in, you don't know he's AI, he plays like a human, his level is close, his level is, is, is close to yours, you don't even know, you barely win, or maybe you barely lose. You fight him again, you win the next time. And that kind of feel good that you always have a chance to play, right? You always have a chance to play. You're always close. I feel like that, that, the, when the dev said, I feel like that has to be the future of FTC. This dude said Fortnite is dying. This dude said Warzone is dying. Could you imagine if he tried picking up like Undernight in birth right now or Melty Blood or something like that? Imagine if this dude lived in, in uh, Argentina and wanted to play Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Imagine that. Imagine if this dude was like in Ireland and he felt like learning, I don't know, uh, Akatsuki Blitz Camp or something. My man said Fortnite, they don't know the struggles. They don't know the struggles. This this is rough. But I I don't think fighting games are growing. I don't think they're ever gonna grow to the uh, like the number that these other games are growing. You know, if the other games are going up like this, fighting games are going up at a way slower pace. Because I think just the the overall game design is just not it's outdated i know i sound like an old man but the kids these days they don't have the attention span and i don't either you know when i was a kid i used to just sit in training mode 20 hours by myself just have the time of my life and if i could fight some guy once a month i was so happy it was great but now you know we got internet we got cell phones there's games everywhere everything is super accessible cell phone games all this stuff so that that fighting game mentality of you put in the time it's all on you right it's all the work that you have to do yourself you're gonna lose at the start you're not gonna be able to beat a guy who's put in more time it just it just works that way right in the beginning it's like, you'll never beat this guy because he played more than you you have to just put in your time like that's such that doesn't fit in with today's uh today's just society i don't think it ever will i don't think it ever will the fighting games are, are changing uh the key the key to avoid this Again, I, again, I'm not making fun of this guy at all. I think his points are very, very fair. He wants to go on and play. He's a scrub. He's always going to be a scrub. But it's not this guy, right? It's not this guy. There, there are millions of guys just like this. Guys and girls probably thinking the same exact thing. So, simplifying gameplay, yeah, that's one path people are taking. Better net, net play, that's something that hopefully happens. That way you have more people at a closer range, closer skill level, and more readily available, but is is the... I'm sounding like Gutex now with conspiracy theories, but is the true answer? Did the SNK team have it right? Like, are AIs feasible? Is it? Could this be a possible solution? So we can bring the guys over here. Him and his friends can come, just go online and win and get some close matches here, I don't know. But yeah, to me, to me, it's super interesting. But like I said, unfortunately, I'm not a very smart guy. And I'm also uh, not a very hard worker, so... I would really like to see someone like Gerald, like Corey Gaming, to, to do a real like deep analysis on this stuff. If they need a translator, I'll bring me in. We can talk to the SNK team. We can we can get it done. But is this something you think this is something I would see in my lifetime? Or is it always is is this gonna be are we just screwed? Are we screwed? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, what level? I, I assume most people on YouTube, you know, after that Wi-Fi video, I assume most of you guys watching on YouTube, not the most hardcore fighting game players. So how would you feel if if you found out that there were AIs, some of the dudes you're fighting online were, were not real. They were AIs, but you had fun. The matches were fun. Is that good or does that just kill it because it's not a human being? I don't know. But anyway, let me know. Thanks for watching and we'll see.